Now that we have our pillow together, the front and the back, and you have your envelope closure in, we are going to sew the flange on. Going to take your six, six inch wide piece of fabric and you're going to sew from one corner to the opposite corner on one side of your pillow. And you're going to stop. It's going to hang loose just like this. And you're going to do all four sides this way. Once you have all four sides on, then you're ready to start mitering. The easy way to do it turn it over and you've got each each piece matching in the corner make sure you've got you know if you need to trim you need to you take your scissors and trim it so that they match up you would then take one piece fold it over to make a corner and press it down to show your miter Turn it back over, and on that pressed piece, you will now take your ruler and pen and mark. Then you go to the machine and you stitch from the inner corner to the outer corner. Once you press open, this you will have a it will look like a square on the wrong side of your fabric then what you want to do is take it and trim to seam allowance once you have your seam allowance trimmed then you're going to take it and fold it back into and have it fold look fold in to the corner where it has it created a triangle. Take your iron and press again on that corner. Unfold. Take your ruler and mark your lines. Okay, now that you've got this marked, you're going to take your seam and fold it where you're back to a cor the corner going you know seam line now you're going to go to your machine and you're going to stitch from here to here and when you after you have stitched your and trimmed once once you've stitched and trimmed then your corner is going to look like this And once you've trimmed it and stitched it like that, you'll take your corner and just turn it inside out. And now you have your mitered corner. The end. Do we need to do the rest of it? Okay, the next step once you've turned is to press along the fold line all the way around your pillow. And then, once you've got that where you want it, then you take the ins inside and match it to the seam line prior, and then press along there. And once you've, you've got it, you can pin also if you need to, but you will take it to your machine and get, put your zipper foot on, and you're going to run a seam all the way down through here, which is going to show just should show right along in here.